Today we are going to finish probably the most oversized and overly efficient project I might have ever done in my entire life. This is the Slime City. It's a basically a bunch of slime farms hidden in a bunch of skyscrapers uh, because I thought it would look cool. And we're going to be turning this into a ginormous city. We have a fair amount done that we did off camera, but I figured let's go ahead and show the progress we make as we make it and uh, kind of show how we evolve. So for the two skyscrapers we're going to be making today, one will be using white and black concrete with black glass panes. And the second one will be using white, gray, and lime green concrete as well as black glass. So we need to see how much of those we have already. Found some gray concrete we were using to make the road, so we're going to yoink these real quick. But back at storage, we don't actually have that much lime concrete, but the other colors we seem to be fine on. Unfortunately, we have no black glass, but we do have regular glass, so we just need some black dye now. Turns out we don't actually have any black dye either, so I guess we need to AFK at our new squid farm that we just remember we had while doing the world tour. Okay, it's been about an hour, and we have a little over a half a shulker box full, so I'll take that. Now we just need to set up the concrete duper machine to make us more of the colors we need, and we'll be good to go. Alright, so these are the supplies we have for this two <laughs> buildings little projects we're gonna have. I'm pretty sure we overkilled it on the amount that we're gonna need. Oh, still some powder in there. Yeah, we definitely don't need this much lime. We have a lot of gray, but again, we use that for roads, so we'll use it eventually. White, we also use a little bit for the roads, but not that much, but we have a ton of it here, and then we have a fair amount of black as well. And then, of course, we got the black glass, and we got some dirt because the grass needs to be spread around these two buildings. And I think I'll leave the middle relatively open because I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. But at least around these two buildings, put the grass in first. And I think that might actually help it be built because the rest of these, I built the building without putting the grass. So yeah, let's, let's give that a shot. All right, now we could do both of them, but I feel like we should do one at a time and take it slow because... I, I'm so bad at building these and I'm gonna try to do a time-lapse out of it and We'll see how that goes because time lapses usually you just kind of want to work your way from the bottom all the way up And just be nice and smooth and it look great But usually when I'm building I build like a quarter of one side And then I try to make something work on the other side and then make sure the back works still And then I go up a little bit more and make sure it works all the way around So it might be an interesting process to see in a time-lapse, but uh, I guess we're gonna give that a shot So let's get right to it And there we go. That's what it looks like for the most part. You'll notice that there's no windows in it yet. I haven't put the glass in. I figured that would be easier to do it after I put all the concrete down. But also you notice there's no roof on this thing. It's kind of just open. I'm gonna put white uh, concrete all over the top, but I need to get some carpets if you see over there. Is to keep it spawn proof. I wonder if I should spawn proof that. I might should spawn proof each layer actually. Anyways, I need to get carpet to put on the, the roof. And I figured that it would be better to wait to put the roof on until I got the carpets to put on there. These are slabs, so I don't have to worry about stuff spawning. But yeah, we just need to put the windows in and then put the ceiling, or I guess the roof on top of this. And then this building will be done. And this is officially what it looks like. And I actually really like this building. It looks really weird. Kind of looks like a rib cage almost. Oh well, I'm digging it. Let's, uh, let's go get some wool. All right, so we just finished it up. There's the patterns we're going with. I think it's the same on both sides and then the middle is symmetrical because I'm me. Uh, I like it a lot. I just need to make sure that we put all the, the sea lanterns in the right spot. Oop, did I not fly? Nope. So I put lights under all, not all of them, but quite a few of the carpets. So I need to make sure that it's kind of even on both sides. 
Well, actually, looking at this roof makes me think that the other roofs need more work because they're all so played compared to it. Well, that one has a helicopter pad, but this one is the only one that's actually like fully decorated. Seems to be fully lit. I think they're even. It's a little darkness over here, so maybe we could put some lights maybe in like the middle too, like there and there. Do the same on this side. And there we go. Nice. It's well lit. And this is how much carpet we have of each. And I even used some gray carpet. I had a little bit of that. So I used that as well to make the pattern. Because it fat, it uh, matches the building. So now, all we got to do is finish up the windows. And then we're done with this one. And just like that, it is done. We got all the glass in. The wool up top is good. Carpets kept everything from spawning. I did have to put some around the rim here. Because around the sides... The lights from the torches in here actually keep this part from being able to spawn. But as you see, there's like a giant gap here. So I had to put around the rim a bunch of carpets just to make sure that nothing spawns on the edge. Because stuff did spawn on the corners or this little rounded part. So all the rounded parts have their own set of carpet so that nothing can spawn. And that one is done. It's officially done. Now we just have uh, one more to go. One more building. And then that's it. And I'm pretty sure we have all the supplies we're gonna need. Let me put this glass back real quick. I think we have all the supplies we're gonna need for this, which would just be black and white concrete, which we have still a lot of. So I think we have enough to do, do that one. And then we're gonna use black glass as well, I'm pretty sure, yeah. We might have to do something about the carpets up top because I definitely don't have enough to do this one again because I used, I think, literally all the white. Oh no, I have some more over there. Uh, so I might actually have enough to do the top of this one, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, let's get to it. Onto the time lapse. And just like that, last tower is finally done. I'm a little worried about how close it is to this back wall here because we will be doing something with all the walls, but I guess that's a problem for when that does eventually happen. It's it's really close. But again, like I said, that's a problem for later. However, we put the glass in, last building is done. So now we can kind of move on to finishing the ground and then the walls after that. So for the ground, the only real big issue we have, other than placing all the grass, is we need to continue this straight away here and just kind of like continue the solid walk straight instead of allowing it to turn like we were going to do originally. And then here, we could have this one just turn this way and do nothing here because originally we were going to turn it right, but it kind of dead ends over there. So maybe the best thing to do would just allow this to turn and do something else in this kind of open area maybe i thought maybe a parking lot for all this maybe i don't know maybe like a park ground i'm not sure exactly what we're going to do here but i guess the first step would be to uh finish the roads and <laughs> then we're going to need a lot of grass i grabbed the grass i had over there and put it over here and i believe this is all the dirt we have left just these two and i think yeah that's right there that, i'm pretty sure that's all the grass we have left or dirt and we're going to need way more than that because I don't even think that's going to cover this area. And this is only one corner. We've done quite a bit. We've done this whole portion and around this building. We've done a little over here. I think just around this little rim. Yeah, we just did a little bit here. So we have a lot of dirt we're going to need to grab. Also, quick question. I'm doing a lot of I need to do this and then time lapse and then I need to do this and then another time lapse and then I'm going to do that and then another time lapse. I don't know if that's the right way to do the videos, but I also don't know of a better way to do the videos since everything is such a large project. Unless I'm just doing one time lapse after another after another onto different things. But then I feel like the video is just one big time lapse. I don't know. If you have any suggestions, please let me know because uh, I don't know what to do.
But yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and finish up these road patches here and over there, and because that should be pretty easy. And then I guess we'll place as much dirt as we have. So I started doing the sidewalks, and of course right here I fall off. But I started doing the sidewalks, and I thought the best way to do these sort of mixed textures was to make one way, uh, one certain block, and then go back the other way and fill in the other block. I don't imagine that's the best way to do it, but that's the way I ended up doing it, so I guess that kind of works out. And then I ended up making the parking lot, and in here it looks a little bit different than it does uh, now when it's finished, because here you'll see the middle part ends up just being the gray concrete, but I ended up changing it to adding more parking spaces in the middle there and adding some carpets and stuff with some lights under them so that this has actually lit up a little bit at night. And the sidewalk goes all the way around this as well. I didn't show it in the time lapse because I didn't quite do it in that one setting, but it is done nonetheless. Then of course I had to go gather a bunch more dirt because I definitely did not have enough. I think I filled up like seven or eight shulker boxes full of dirt just to do this part and I almost I think I'm like a shulker bucks and a half from running out but then of course this is what I ended up having to do and just placing rows upon rows of dirt now I don't imagine I'll be leaving it like this I will be placing moss and moss carpets with some sea excuse me sea lanterns under those so that this is lit up at night because this is all spawnable areas and I can't be doing that in this giant slime farm so what I'll probably end up doing is either adding some little decorations or just making it lit up for now so we can finish it off. But we have like two more things to do on the ground level and then we can start working on the walls, which is going to make this thing look way better after all that is done. And I'm very excited for that. So originally what I wanted to do for the entrance to the sewers were like basically just like a giant bowl of dirt essentially that would uh, be a river that would go through here and back that way and then here as well and then there's another entrance over there but then i started filling it with dirt and kind of making it look like an arch and i don't really like it so i started doing a different plan on this side just to see which one i like better and i think i definitely like this one better so i'm probably going to do this sort of style all the way around the trim of like the highway and then have the bottom be the dirt and have the water here the water pouring out of there onto there and then on the other side before we do the walls we'll probably do a similar thing like this on this side as well uh i don't have a ton of supplies i gathered what i could oh well let me do it i gathered what i could so i have some stairs some cracked stone some regular stone some of the polished andesite and then some mossy stone bricks so i probably have enough to complete this side i don't know if i have enough to do all of it but i think i'm just gonna do one oh, creeper down there uh, I think I'm going to do this side right here and then see how that looks. And then I guess I'll judge it on whether or not I want to do the rest of it. So, yeah, I guess I'll be right back for that. All right, let's do a little quick voiceover during this part so we can kind of explain what happened. So we build the trim, of course, and then I figured out a better way to do these mixed textures, which basically just making my scroll wheel go nuts and just have all the blocks in the middle and just kind of pick at random, I guess, sort of. Uh, here we're building the pillar for the side. This just, this looks like I build so slow. Oh man, no wonder I do so many time lapses. Look how slow I build. This is, oh my god, this is painful. Uh, but right here I get impatient and then jump off and started doing it a different way. And then you'll see I come through a nether portal and it looks like I'm running from my responsibilities. I'm not, I'm looking for sea pickles because I figured they would add something to the area. So we go to get sea pickles. Notice we only have four, but for some reason we have 46 only blue coral. I don't know why, just blue. But I decided all of a sudden I want to make a sea pickle farm, so we started gathering some supplies for that. Grab a barrel, grab a wall here. To way too many options, I guess, because I'm like, hmm, which wall do I want? I guess this one, why not? Uh, grab a minecart, grab a hopper. We're going to turn that into, you never would have guessed it. Yeah, a, hyper, a hopper minecart. Yeah, big six head move there. We go to our guardian farm, actually, to put the sea pickle farm down, because why not? You know, it's at the ocean. There's This is water themed. Let's just do it there. Oh, you want to see another six head move here? Watch this. We go to put the lever down, we're like, mm, yeah, I can't place it on the left, that would be too easy. Let's break the carpet and put it there. And I'm like, wait, I could put it on the left. Yeah, look at that, see, it still works. Put the carpet back. And then this lovely sound starts playing, but hey, at least we got sea pickles. So now we can go all the way back to where we just were, throw some sea pickles down, and I'm like, Ugh, sea pickles, why stop at sea pickles? We should probably go get some more decorations for the water. So let's grab some, what, like glow berries? Yeah, that's good, glow lichen, that's probably pretty good. We can even grab some vines, some lily pads, thought about kelp, decided not to do the kelp, screw the kelp. And we're gonna throw a bunch of lily pads around here as if, you know, there's some reason they need to be down here, probably shouldn't. And then try to throw the walls or vines on the wall and then glow lichen on the walls as well. And here we are just painfully slowly making our way to finishing this build. Oh, geez, I should have definitely time last this. This is not good. 
So this is what we got done so far. And honestly, it is coming together pretty nicely. Like I know there's not a lot of details in here, but this idea is way better than the idea I had over there. And you know how you do these really large projects and you're like, oh, that could be really cool. And then as you go through it, you're like getting a little demotivated because everything's taking so long. But then as you piece it together little by little, you get more and more motivated to finish. This got me excited to finish. Don't worry, that's, that's not gonna stay like that. I'm gonna move the water back a bit. I was just making this, that to see me, to, bleh, I can't even speak. I made this to make sure I could see what it looks like with the water coming down. I put an archway here for the road and it'll go under there. I'm actually very excited. Uh, I think this came out really well. I have some vines, a bunch of like mossy stuff. So I put some lily pads. I don't know if I'm going to keep the lily pads. I might, and I might actually throw a couple more other things in here as well as like turtles, maybe, maybe frogs. I've actually never seen frogs at all in Minecraft uh, because I updated to 1.19, but I never actually found anything from 1.19. So maybe we'll do that and put frogs in here with some turtles, who knows, but I still have a lot of work to do. However, this got me excited to finish more. So now I'm just going to finish, I guess, the other half of that. I could do this part because it would be easier. But I think I'm going to do the tunnel here and then uh, the other side in front of that building as well. Because that'll, I guess, take up most of the space uh, of this right here. And I could just, uh, how am I going to do this exactly? Because I can't have that. I might have to move this actually, this dirt path. Because this wall will run into this here. So I might actually have to move this to go uh, here this way and then meet it from here, which is totally fine. It's a little annoying, but not not that bad at all. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually <laughs> very excited to get this done. I'm super stoked with how this came out. Yeah, let's just let's just get right to it. So something rather unfortunate has happened. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but I guess I'll do my best. So I was making the time last for this and this area over here, right? So we have this area almost done. It's just got to, you know, have the water and the random decorations. We have this tunnel and this is pretty much entirely done. Uh, but, oops. While I was uh, making the timelines for this, I was like, you know what would be useful is a beacon with double jump. So I have a beacon with double jump. And so I placed it up there and then continue the time lapse to here. Because all I did was move a beacon from, I don't remember where, some, somewhere over here had a beacon. So I just moved it here. Uh, and then my game crashed all of a sudden and it gave me an error code. I didn't write down the error code because I didn't think anything of it really. Uh, but then Minecraft was having trouble pulling back up. It wouldn't load and I was worried that my world was going to be corrupted. Uh, I came back in and the world wasn't corrupted, but it did give me an achievement for making a beacon or an advancement, whatever they're called. And I didn't think much of it, except the beacon is still there. However, I still have like, I don't know, half the supplies for making a beacon in my inventory. So I have a beacon, I duplicated a beacon and then I was like, well, that's kind of strange, but that's not that bad. Uh, I guess I'll just get to keep a beacon or I got a beacon for free. But then 
I notice all of my advancements have been reset. So I don't have any advancements that I didn't just get. So I got the beacons, all these I don't have. Uh, none of these I have either, even though I've done all of these things or most of them. Yeah, jump into a honey block and break your fall. Like sleep. I don't have any of these. Kill a skeleton from at least 50 meters away. Yeah, all my advancements got reset. So I guess, you know, I didn't kill the ender dragon or I need to kill the ender dragon again, which is kind of annoying. I don't even have mind stone with your new pickaxe. I don't have any of that, but I have, you know, we need to go deeper because I went into the nether. Uh, but then the thing that's even more annoying is if we go to stats, all of them got reset. This is the stats I have for my world that I've had for like three and a half years. Uh, and now it looks so confusing. I've used 41, but I've picked up none, crafted none, mined none. Uh, like this is so just strange. Just strange. I don't... Uh, that's just annoying. And then, like, all the distance achieve not achievements, but it, it, oh, this is just unfortunate. I mean, look at the bright side. Where's, where, wait, mobs killed? Oh, yeah, because I went to the gold farm. Uh, where is uh, number of death? Number of death, zero. Look at that. Oh, zero death run. Look at that. Never died in this world. It's basically a hardcore world at this point, then. Uh, so, yeah, that's why there's not going to be a time lapse for this part. And I guess I'm going to be getting random advancements for like the most basic things in Minecraft now. And I got a free beacon and like a, a little over a stack of iron blocks, which is good, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so I guess since I can't time, should I time lapse this? Um, there's been enough time lapses. This, this video is getting on long enough because I still got to do the walls as well and all of that. So I guess I'm just going to finish this real quick and then we can jump onto something else because, uh... Yeah, that's unfortunate. If you know anything about it, and you know how I can get all of my stuff back, as far as, like, my statistics and my, you know, uh, advancements, then feel free to let me know. But I don't, I don't think there is. I think it's just gone. It's not, the world's not corrupt, so I'm happy about that. But it is a little unfortunate that all of my stats and advancements are gone. Uh, so it's just it just looks strange it just looks strange that i have this world for three years and the stats say what let's see the most things that i've mined <laughs> it's 44 polish andesite uh these see, what's what's even worse is that dirt and like sand and uh stone and stuff like that with a pickaxe was that like i don't even know it was like seven hundred thousand. Of each of those blocks like it was something ridiculous but anyways yeah uh that's enough of that rant i guess i'm gonna finish that part and uh i guess you'll see me in just a moment all right i got some good news and well pretty much just good news i think <laughs> so one good news is i finished the entire floor now so if we go up here take a look the water is all done oh wait i could just do this the water is all done, the walls are all ready to go and be made, and I even made these tunnels at the end of all of, I think at all of them? All of each of the roadways, so it looks like they kind of lead into somewhere. Maybe one day I'll, you know, carry like one of these tunnels off in each direction, perhaps. Uh, but that's to be determined, I guess. This one, you'll see there's no black concrete. Uh, this is where I want to put the nether portal, that's what this big E was for, it was for entrance. So I think this is where the nether portal is going to be. So when I come in, I'll see this view right here. And I want to fill up some more stuff here. Maybe a couple more buildings with like maybe a cactus farm or something along those lines. Just to kind of fill out this empty space. And then of course put some statues around to make it look a little more lively. But another thing that's really good. If we look right here. Boom! I got, I you know, most of my statistics back. So I won't go through... An entire explanation of what I did but basically I loaded a backup and took the folder that had the statistics from that backup and put it into uh, the current one and just replaced it it's not a hundred percent up to date it's like a month or so old however uh, this is the good part time played 31 days 0.34 that's like 750 hours in this world so that's the number I wanted to keep and I'm glad I got it back at least to some degree of accuracy. Uh, so now all we gotta do is get a lot, a lot, a lot of concrete and some sea lanterns. 
a uh, couple different colors of concrete and we can start doing all of the walls and that is going to wrap up this project luckily getting this amount of concrete is super easy because i could just use the uh end portal glitch and just duplicate it and not have to worry about making it all and i got all this black concrete powder here already so now we're just making some blues and some purple and i'm gonna fill up these three purple boxes of blue that three of purple and then we can get started because i have one whole shulker box of sea lanterns already so oh i need glass as well hmm probably should have gotten some sand uh yeah i guess i'll do that here in a minute i'll be back all right lads and ladies we are ready to begin so we have three ish shulker boxes of purple concrete we got two of sea lanterns we got like eight was it one two three, four, five six seven. yeah eight of these and a lot of black concrete and then we have a, a fair amount of glass that we're going to be turning into glass panes and uh it's time to start our first wall here you'll see a little blue highlight here yep it's a, a schematic that i have put in creative mode on uh, my creative war i built in creative mode and then we loaded the schematic over here uh yeah for one wall it was like 13 black shulker boxes full of black concrete so <laughs> doing four is going to need a lot of supplies and a lot of time so i'm gonna do one so let's look at uh i guess placed black concrete we've nine four one one nine four one one i'm not gonna remember that but there's video proof of it right there so let's see how much black concrete, and there's going to be a lot of blue as well, but I don't think I've placed a lot of blue up until this point, so I'm not going to search for that. Uh, oh yeah, and, uh, or uh, I don't know why I said, oh yeah. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's just get to it. And here we are. This is what the walls are going to look like for the most part. Uh, it's just a city skill, uh, silhouette. It's a skitty city silhouette. Uh, it's a skyline. So you have uh, some blue buildings in the foreground, some purple buildings in the background. And then the black sky will go much higher. But I still have three more walls to do. And then there's going to be some stars and a moon and whatnot on the, the black parts that carry up a little further and maybe on the ceiling as well. Uh, but yeah, I did a time lapse for the majority of this one. Did not do it in one seating. Who could have guessed? But, <laughs> I'm curious actually, black concrete's now at almost 30,000, where were we at? We were like 9,000 and something, right? So it's like roughly 20,000-ish black concrete for this, and then, of course, we have, uh, we don't need the blue, blue concrete, I don't remember how much that number was, but we did like 20,000 of the black, but I would like to, before we get started on those, do this. So I used to do a comment of the day for every video, and since the World Tour video got some uh, comments, I'm going to put two on display here in this book. So from Nim3024, he said the amount of effort put into this world is insane. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. I think there's a lot of people who could do a lot more than what I've done in my world in a lot less time, but I still do appreciate the comment. I try to make it look like I've put a lot of work into the world, and I really have, but it's just mostly time sync. I don't think I'm the greatest at detailing or making the most incredible looking builds. I just build in scale, and because of the scale, it makes it look more impressive. Uh, and then, of course, we have a second comment. I figured I'd pick two because there's a, a couple that I liked, and it's just, uh, your world is sick. You should you, sh you deserve more subs from BC Uxree 4182. Sorry if I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, but thank you. I don't think I necessarily deserve more subs because I definitely don't upload enough to warrant a bunch of subscribers. But because you two left a comment, I figured I could give you guys a statue. So uh, these are like little armor statues. These are not permanent. They can be changed. Uh, if either of these two people comment down below what they, uh, what kind of mom head they would like to be wearing, the color of their clothes, what item they want to wear, and then... You can also do a pose if you like. I'll try to contact you guys directly uh, under your comments on the last video to do that. And then if you want to be big or small, and of course, where in the world you want to be. So you don't have to be here at the slime farm if you, they, these two have watched the world tour. 
if they want to watch the world tour again and just uh figure out a better place they want to be let me know i could put you here i could put you wherever you like but yeah either of you two or both of you two let me know where you want to be put i could put you on the one of these buildings i could put you down here in the street or i can put you at a different build completely uh but yeah so I'm going to continue. Actually, I need to get a lot more supplies because I don't have, definitely don't have enough black. Oh, I have like four, four-ish. Yeah, four and a half-ish. I have a lot, a lot of glass. I did way, because I use glass panes and I only used half a shulker box for one wall. So I definitely overkilled it on glass, but that's fine. Uh, blue, we're going to need more of and purple. I don't, purple, we're actually going to be fine on because there's not a lot of purple to be done either. So all we really need is a bunch of blue and a ton more black. And then we can finish the other walls. So I guess let's go ahead and get that done so we can wrap this video up. And there we officially have it. All four walls are done. Now I only did three time lapses because if you look, this is the last wall we did. Uh, there's kind of a lot of buildings in the way, like the Avengers Tower, this one, we got that one. There's one over there against the wall. The Baxter Building, not the Baxter Building. What is this? The Golden Globe? Golden Globe? No, what is it? Planet? Something Planet? Daily Planet from Superman? Yeah, that's this. Uh, right beside the Avengers Tower. So this wall didn't really have the best view for a time lapse, so I just didn't do one. Uh, and also one of the time lapses you'll see, I paused in the middle of it and forgot to unpause for like seven layers. So that's why there's a gap there. Uh, but yeah, all of the walls are now officially done. So I still have more to do. I have to do, I have to raise this up even higher, make it look like a sky. Like I want the, the moon and some stars and maybe some other stuff floating around. And then I want to detail this area out as well. But because this video is taking so long, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here and then maybe do like a build showcase for another video and uh, maybe link that in the description of this video or maybe in the comments after I finish it because I don't think it'll be enough of a video for a part two, but maybe after I finishing after I finish up all of like the little minor details and stuff that I want to throw in here with the statues, maybe some vehicles on the road, some stuff uh, here in these like random, there's like a bunch of like open space that is not being used for slime farms. So especially over on this side, you see this side over here is pretty busy with buildings, but then this side is pretty vacant. So I need to fill up this area with some space. And then, uh, I think it is, where's the Avengers tower there. So this will be the entrance. Oh, I need to put some grass in right here. I don't have any on me. Let me see if I can grab that real quick, actually. There we go. Much better. Now it's actually attached to the ground. So, like I was saying, I also need to kind of uh, fix this area. I need to do fix a little bit of everything. But, we look here. This, I believe, is the nether portal entrance, which I have not lit. Our nether portal is still way up there, if you see it. But, this is the entrance that we will be coming in. And this is the view we will see. So, I wanted the Avengers Tower to be in the view of the tunnel. And I wanted it to be towards the middle. So, that's why I didn't choose that one or any of these other tunnels. I chose this one here. And then I have the two superhero related buildings. I think I'm just going to throw the Avengers A on that. I didn't do it originally because I wanted it to be subtle. But, I think I would like it better if I put the Avengers A on there. Uh, but, this will be the entrance. And then, I may need to make the black concrete go way higher and make some stars and sky and maybe some other fancy stuff and then the way we would get down to the slime farm itself is right there but for the time being this is done now if you remember earlier i said commented uh people who commented will be getting statues in here and i'll be trying to contact them if you want a statue somewhere in this area or somewhere in my world in general feel free to leave a comment down below and just let me know where and what head of what creature you would like and the reason i'm putting a giant ceiling or a lid on this thing is so i want it to be nighttime always so i don't want the sun to come out ever i always want it to be nighttime so i'm just going to make it black concrete and make it look like my own little nighttime sky so that's what we're going to try to do uh oh yeah the statistics let's see where let's see items used ninety-two thousand. what was this number the first time around it was like what was it it was like 9,000 and some change, I think. 
So we've done 10 times that amount now. So we've done 90,000 times crafted. I've crafted this many black concrete? Have I really? Black concrete powder? Huh. Because I duplicate stuff now. So you'll notice that like times crafted, none of them is like concrete because the concrete I just make a very small amount of and then I can uh, duplicate them. Anyways, that's where this video is going to come to end. I hope you liked the build. I hope you guys made it to this far in the video because it has become much longer of a video than I anticipated it being. So if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate it. If you want to see what this place looks like when I'm finally done, feel free to subscribe and uh, click the little bell and it'll upload. Or it'll let you know when I upload again. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.